Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will learn about how you can make a simple and minimal seamless looping animation in Blender and beside that we will also learn how you can make some basic color correction in your renders to give them a more better kind of a look. So without further delay, let's jump into the video. Now first of all, uh, open Blender on your computer and uh, before starting out, head over to edit then preferences and make sure that the resolution scale is set to 1.3 or higher depending upon how big or small your computer screen is. Now head over to animation and uh, under default interpolation make sure that uh, your default interpolation is set to linear. After that save the preferences and exit. Now first of all get rid of the default cube and the light. Now press shift plus a and uh, Add a circle mesh into the viewport. Press 7 on your numpad key for top view and, uh, and press tab for edit mode. Right click and subdivide with a number of cuts to 3 and uh, smoothness to 1. Now press F on your keyboard to fill out the circle. Now press 1 on your numpad key to go to the front view and then E and extrude it in Z axis. Now press A and select the whole circle and, and press tab key again to switch from edit mode to solid mode. Now head over to the modifier properties and uh, add a bevel modifier. Make a few adjustments to the amount and segment values to give a proper bevel to the circle. After that, apply shade smooth. Now again, head over to the front view and uh, press R, X and 90 degree to rotate the circle 90 degrees in uh, X axis. Now press 7 on your numpad key for top view. Now from here, go to the object properties and uh, since we need some more circular shapes, so we just need to duplicate the circle and place them at multiple places. Again press shift plus A and uh, add a plane mesh, press 1 for front view and move the plane mesh just below the circle. Make sure that they are not overlapping each other. Press S on your keyboard to scale the plane to a larger value. As you can see that uh, the circle are looking boring at the moment so we need to give some randomness to them. So select the circle one by one and make a few adjustments to their rotation values. Press shift plus A again and add a Bezier circle into the viewport. Press 7 again for top view and scale the Bezier circle outside the boundary of the circular meshes. We need the camera to move around the Bezier circle. Select the camera and change its location values to 0 and rotation values also to 0. Now under constraints, add an object constraint known as follow path. Select the target object to Bezier circle, select follow curve and uh, make sure that the in object data properties, the rotation value is set to 90 degrees for X axis and uh, minus 90 degrees for Z axis. Now to move the camera around the Bezier circle, head over to object constraints and uh, enter the end value to 240 frames and uh, for the first frame enter the offset value to 100 and insert a keyframe and for the 241st frame enter the offset value to 0 and then insert the keyframe.
since our scene is completely built up uh, we will need to add some lighting but before that head over to render engine and change the render into engine to cycles switch the device type to gpu compute viewport max samples to 32 and for the rendering purpose i think the max samples should be around 150 which should be enough for this scene under color management change the look to punchy or very high contrast now go to world properties and add a sky texture now we need to make some few changes to make our scene look more better under sky texture reduce the sun size and the intensity value to zero change the sun elevation to somewhere around 25 degrees and the rotation to around 60 to 70 degrees reduce the dust uh, in the atmosphere to zero and uh, the amount of air to 0.35 now for adding materials head over to the shader editor Now select the camera and uh, under its object data properties adjust the focal length value to get a wide angle view of the scene. <clears throat> now press Ctrl plus B and uh, drag over the camera to select the render region. Head over to output properties. Make sure the resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels and uh, the frame rate is set to 30 fps. Now in the output properties open your file browser and select the desired location where you want to save the file the file format by default is set to png you can select a png render animation if your computer crashes most of the times or you are not having enough hardware capabilities so for the png file animation select the file format to png uh, make sure the color is set to rgba and uh, the color depth is set to 16 and reduce the compression after you are done with these settings Click on the render button and render out the animation. If your computer does not crashes a lot and uh, the hardware capabilities of your computer are uh, more than enough, then switch over the file format to FFmpeg video and uh, under encoding, change the container type to MPEG4. The video codec is set to S264 which is by default the perfect and the output to perceptually lossless. After that, render out the animation. Now after you have rendered out the animation, but uh, your animation still looks very dull. So I have got a fix for you. Open the video editing section on, in Blender video editor. And uh, since I have rendered the animation is in PNG image sequence, so I will select the image sequence where the animation is press a to select all the images and uh, add the image strip to the image sequence <clears throat> now as you can see that the render looks a little bit dull at the moment so we need to fix that so first of all since the animation is up to 240 frames so enter the in value to 240 frames and uh, change the frame rate to 30 select the image strip and uh, go to color and uh, adjust the saturation and the multiply value to provide some basic color correction to the scene. Uh, since the scene is very simple one and uh, there is no much complexity, so we don't need to dive, it, dive into the depth of color grading and color correction. And uh, this settings should be fine enough for the render. After that, make sure the resolution and the frame rate value are uh, perfect. Then select the location where you want to save the file and uh, select the file format to FFmpeg video and uh, encoding to MPEG4 S264 is the video codec which, which is default and the output to perceptually lossless since we don't have audio 
in the scene so set the audio codec to no audio or if you want to add some audio for the animation you can add it here and after that render out the animation thanks to everyone who watched the video till the end hope to see you all in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning